All right, so we're doing a neighborhood tour today. We're going into Baton Rouge and we're gonna be looking at the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. We're gonna see what the neighborhood's got to offer as far as schools, hospitals go. We're gonna look into proximity to things like shopping and entertainment. We're gonna talk about you know, what you can expect as far as traffic or a commute. And then finally, we're gonna look into the different types of housing that are available and what kind of price point you'll be looking at if you're interested in living in the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. And we're getting into all that right now. Let's go. Hey guys, Sean Ramos here and welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Louisiana where we're talking about everything you need to know about moving to or living in Louisiana. So if that's the information you're looking for, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. And I am a licensed realtor in the state of Louisiana. As much as I do love making these videos for you guys, what I really love is to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that's popping up on your screen right now, that's the best way you can reach me. I am the guy that replies to every single call, text, or email that comes through. So if you have any specific questions or needs when it comes to making the move to Louisiana, don't hesitate to reach out. All right, so let's talk about Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. It's on the east side of Baton Rouge. It's gonna be bordered, if you're looking at a Google map, by I-12 to the south, the Amy River to the east, Florida Boulevard or US 190 to the north, and then Airline Highway or US 61 to the west. So there are a few different zip codes that make up the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. A large portion of it's gonna be in the 70815, you're gonna have some 70816 and then also a little corner of 70819. And in addition to the major highways that make up the borders of the neighborhood, you're also gonna have some main roads like O'Neill Lane, Millerville Road, Sherwood Forest Boulevard, Old Hammond Highway, and Goodwood Boulevard. Now the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood actually gets some pretty high rankings in Baton Rouge from niche.com. So they rank really highly in diversity, the best place to buy a home, and the best place for young professionals to live. One of the big perks of Broadmoor Sherwood Forest is that you're just next to Mid-City. So you got all of that cool stuff there that would be great for young professionals, but you don't necessarily have as much traffic to deal with as if you lived in Mid-City. Okay, let's talk about the schools in the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. Now, school districts are really important in my opinion. You know, if you have kids, then obviously it, it's important to you. But even if you don't, it's something you may want to consider just as far as your resale value goes because homes in um, districts with better schools tend to go for more money or just makes them easier to sell. There are a number of public schools in Broadmoor Sherwood Forest. Um, there is a, a magnet school for uh, middle school age, but you also have access to a number of really good private schools. St. Thomas More is located right there in the neighborhood, but you're also really close to schools like Episcopal, Parkview Baptist, St. Joseph's Academy, and Catholic High. Quick side story, Twin Oaks Elementary is located in the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest area, and I'd kind of forgotten this until I was doing research for this video but I actually went to kindergarten at Twin Oaks and that's where I had my first kiss. Shout out to Katie if you're watching. But they had the whole school in this auditorium watching the movie Old Yeller and that's when I made my move. Let's talk about some of the hospitals in the area and kind of proximity to get to those and kind of what you have available. So if you need one of these places, then it's probably bad news, but the good news for you is that you're really close if you do need one. So right there on the border of the neighborhood, you've got an Ochsner Medical Center on O'Neill Lane and I-12, but you're also within just about a 10 minute drive of the medical district where you have all of the major hospitals in Baton Rouge, and you're also about the same distance from the Baton Rouge General in Mid-City. Now, 
Now, as far as shopping and entertainment goes, I think you're gonna be all set. When you're talking grocery stores, you've got multiple smaller stores right there in the neighborhood. Stores like High Neighbor, Reeves Market, and then you've got one called Ideal Market, which have some really good reviews for their fresh meats and seafood, their fresh fruits and vegetables, and then supposedly they have some really good cooked food on their hot bar. Then you've got all of your big box stores that you're used to. There's a Target, neighborhood Walmarts, Walmart Supercenter. And then when you start getting just outside of the neighborhood, you've got stores like Rouse's, Albertsons, Winn-Dixie. And then there's a Whole Foods over at Town Center at Cedar Lodge, which is a big, nice open air shopping center. And there's Hammond Air Plaza, another outdoor mall where you've got a number of different types of clothing and shoe stores. There are hair and nail salons. There's a really nice gym, a car wash, and then multiple restaurants. And speaking of restaurants, some of my local favorites are right in this area. Places like Sonny's Barbecue, Frank's Restaurant, The Chimes East, and Willie's Restaurant. And there are also a number of parks and outdoor activities in the area. You've got Forest Community Park. There's the Frenchtown Conservation Area if you wanna go out and take a little hike. Perkins Road Community Park is close if you want more Extreme Sports Park, where they've got a velodrome, a BMX track, and a skate park. And then right across Airline Highway, you've got Independence Park and the Liberty Lagoon Water Park. Also, if you like to play golf, there's a Webb Memorial Golf Course right down the street. And there are multiple movie theaters in the area. Making this video got me thinking back, man, to childhood again. Uh, there was a place called the Broadmoor Theater on Florida Boulevard, and we used to go there all the time because the movie tickets were only a dollar and money was tight. So of course, you're not seeing the newest releases, but for $1 tickets, you take what you can get. I spent a many a weekend nights at that place, but there's no way that I would drop my kids off like that if it was still there today. And Broadmoor Sherwood Forest is just on the other side of Airline Highway from Mid-City. So you got Mid-City, right across the highway and then downtown just on the other side of that both of them super close and you're also not far from the lsu campus So let's talk about what you can expect as far as the traffic goes and the commute in the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. So the southern border of Broadmoor Sherwood Forest is I-12 and that's easily the most traveled highway that goes through. But the good news for you is that you have multiple other avenues that you can take to avoid I-12. So you can use Old Hammond Highway, Goodwood Boulevard, or Florida Boulevard to get where you need to go. And you do want to be careful on Goodwood Boulevard because uh, being that there are so many schools on the road, the mornings and the afternoons during those carpool times, it can get a little congested, but the good thing is, you know, those cars are typically able to pull over to the side of the road so they're not really blocking the road. Just something you wanna be careful of because there are a lot of cars out on the roadway during those times. a little bit about the housing in the Broadmoor Sherwood Forest neighborhood. Remember earlier I said that they ranked highly as one of the best places to buy a house in Baton Rouge and that's maybe partly due to the fact that the median home price is only about $259,000. So it's super affordable and one of the things that I really love about the neighborhood is all of the greenery. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of just big old oak trees that I think gives the neighborhood a lot of character. Now it's made up of mostly single family homes, but there are some townhomes and condos available. And you're mostly gonna be looking at older ranch style homes that are around 30 to 50 years old for the most part. Some maybe not quite that old, some a little bit older. So I think the combination of the character in the neighborhood, the close proximity to everything, and the affordable price point makes Broadmoor Sherwood Forest a great option if you're looking for a place to live in Baton Rouge. All right guys, so if you are thinking about making Broadmoor Sherwood Forest 
your home or if you'd like to look into any other areas, that number that's popping up on your screen right now is the best way that you can reach out to me. I'd love to get on a phone call with you or a Zoom call and just talk about what your needs and wants are and see how exactly I can help you find a good home in Baton Rouge or the surrounding areas. I'm here to be a resource for you for anything real estate related that you need. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have any specific questions or needs when it comes to making the move to Louisiana. And if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because every week we're putting out brand new videos just like this one. I wanna make sure that you get notified every time a new one comes out. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next video.